Hi, I'm Lowell Martin and this is MCC Today. Good news, they dropped the charges. On today's show, we have Dr. Caraway, Phyllis Holliday, Elon Presley, and Michael Bishop. You're going to learn a lot, so stay tuned. Find your wings. It's more than just a hashtag. It's the power of knowledge in our state-of-the-art classrooms. It's skills training for a competitive job market. It's the best nursing program in the state. It's home runs, buzzer beaters, and the thrill of victory. And MCC walks it up. It's not just a hashtag. How do I know? Because I found my wings. Okay, and we are here with the wonderful Dr. Caraway. How are you doing today? I am well. How are you? I am well as well. Now, she is literally one of my favorite people on this campus. I know I say that to you, but she is. <laughs> uh, now, you are the division chair of science and wellness. Yes. Okay, which means you have a lot of the science. We were just talking about you're giving an organic <laughs> chemistry <laughs> test. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and But also, you're part of wellness. Yes. Which you, uh, when you first think about it, you're like, those two don't go together, but they really do. Yes, they do. Exercise, and uh, they all go together. Yes. And now you've been doing this division chair stuff for? A little over, about a year and a half. Okay, so a little bit longer than me, because I just started division yes. chair stuff in August, I think yes. it was. Okay. <sighs> just so much fun. <laughs> it's a lot of adjustment. It, it, it really is a lot of adjustment. And, and, uh, and I know you're doing well, on, as you do with all of your, you know, anything you. you take on. But today we are talking about various uh, months and days of the year. Am yes. I correct? Yes, we are. And it has to do with wellness. And okay. as, as you know, um, from the faculty perspective, division chair seems to be kind of not a lot, but mm -hmm. once you get in it, there's a lot of adjustment. And so I've had to think about wellness. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, so the other day, a random news article popped up on my computer and I happened to click on it, and it was about wellness. And, and yeah. that led to um, me thinking about wellness holistically mm -hmm. and uh, exploring some things about national days and monthly days and and we have some wellness opportunities that are coming up. We definitely do and I think this is and, and I don't know if this is uniquely American I don't know if other places in the world do this but but in America we tend to focus on the physical. Yes. We don't look as much on the mental we don't look as much on the spiritual the social the other aspects of that holistic health that other countries are you know have been doing for a long time I and i think we're sud we're starting to look more into you know you've got to take care of all of you yes and and i i love this as far as the different m months because we you know that there's all kinds of days and and usually you don't know about it until that day right okay so you can't plan anything but we actually you actually there is a financial literacy month yes which is april income tax <laughs> we're in month. the middle of yeah. it okay and i've already run out of money for the month <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. but uh and this another thing too i think you know because you I, I wonder sometimes if we teach our children to be financially aware. Well, there is actually, I did not put it on my list, there is actually a national teach your child to save day. Okay, okay, well there you go. And it's needed because, you know, you jokingly said I have run out of money for the month. But yeah. financial stress is huge. It, it really is. I mean, for, it doesn't matter who it is, if you're married, if you're single, if you're an adult, if you're a college student, 
even some children, mm -hmm. and certainly financial stresses indirectly impact children. Oh yeah, oh um, yes. Financial stress is huge. Because I, I think sometimes the, the, the stress of the parents can cause like a, it's a, the atmosphere in the home yes. just becomes much more tense. Yes, I agree. And, you know, and, and rightfully, wrongfully so, I'm not, you know, but, but it's there. Kids pick up on that. Because I, I say all the time, and I tell my kids this, you know, uh, the, your kids are watching you. Oh, yeah. They're watching oh, yes. everything you do. You think that you're getting away with stuff. You're not, and I found the same way when I started teaching. Yeah. Is, you know, it, the, my students, they noticed everything. You know, they, uh, there was no way to get away with anything. Kurt, Kids yes. So I'm glad that we have that kind of, that, that day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now you said we also have Humor Month. Now that would be one I love. This is my way of handling stress. That is my way of handling stress. And it's stress. such a good way to handle stress. So what are some ways when you're stressful, how do you use humor? Well, I, I, I do not, I have never, and I think you've known me for many years, you know I don't take myself too seriously. No, and you have, no, you and, do and, not, and absolutely. You, you know, and, and you can't, and even though you're doing a lot and you're super busy and you know, and, and so one of my things that I always do in the Success Center, I was like, do you, don't you know who I am? <laughs> Don't you know how important I am? <laughs> you know, and I usually get a laugh out of out of them. I was I had a student last night who was so upset, uh, an athlete, and she had procrastinated. And I said, I'm going to help you with the procrastination. And she said, How are you going to do that? And I said, Okay, get your phone, and I want you to videotape me. And she put her phone, and she videotaped. And I said, Are you out of your mind? How dare you wait until the last minute to do this? Don't you ever do this again? You are oh. And then, and she stopped, and I said, Anytime you feel like you're procrastinating, <laughs> <laughs> I want you to watch that. But I think humor is, and so many times, especially when you're young you know, oh, the world's ending. Oh, this is causing the world to end. And, and it's not. And it's not. It's not. Uh, it's and not. I say, you also have Stress Awareness Month. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and as you've said, there are so many different kinds of stress. And if I'm honest, Lowell, you know, I grew up in a time where stress was not discussed much. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And, and mental stress in particular was a taboo subject. Mm -hmm. um, and, and other stresses, you know, I, I don't recall from my childhood resources to help people. I'm not no. saying they weren't there. Right. Um, right. But if they were, you were not aware of them. Correct. Okay. Correct. You know, I mean, now, now my parents were wonderful parents mm -hmm. and they helped us. That's not what I'm saying. Right. I wasn't aware of societal uh opportunities to deal with stress. The first time I think that I really was aware of stress, and I wouldn't have called it stress at that point. I can remember um, commercials on TV and, and discussions about Vietnam veterans mm -hmm. and some of the issues that they were having as they came back from the Vietnam War. Uh, and, and, and that's just a whole different topic for another day because there were so many yeah. factors that, that came into play for those individuals. But, but I wasn't aware of help. Mm -hmm. and, and we do have a lot of help now. And that's not my purpose here today is to talk about the help that's available uh, in terms of uh, community resources, but just being aware of our stress. And yes. even as you said, children pick up on this. So if I can go into my home and I can say to my children, I'm feeling this way today, or my husband, I'm feeling this way today, I just want you to know that. Mm -hmm. So if I snap at you, it, it's not necessarily you. And I'll try to, I'll try to treat you well, mm -hmm. but I just want you to be aware. You know? And, and the, I think the thing is, is to not discount the stress, yes. not to just yes. push it, you know, not the whole fake it till you make it or, oh, just smile or, oh, just, no, you know, yes. let, let's actually look at the stress. Yes. We are having to wrap up, but uh, there are so many days available. And where did oh, you see yes. this information? I saw this, available, uh, this information on National day.com okay. nationalday.com and there's so much there for example 
gardening and landscaping yes. and physical activity. And tell a picnic story. Picnic day. Yes. Tell a story day. Yes. So much. Yes. I am going to have you on, and we're just going to have you as the one guest <laughs> because I think we could fill, we could fill the whole time slot. Oh, I think. <laughs> Listen, we'll be right back. Thank you so much for being here. Meridian Community College. For more than 75 years, we've helped students soar. Establishing the first tuition guarantee program in Mississippi, we put our students first while creating pathways into the workforce and offering a seamless transition to a four-year degree. Now is the time to find your purpose and register today because those who move forward never get left behind. MCC, find your wings. And we are back and we have the wonderful Miss Phyllis Holiday. Hi. <laughs> who just remembered that you had this <laughs> Yes, it's been today. some eventful <laughs> few days, yes. You are yes. just returning from Washington, D.C. I and a am. conference that you went I to. I am, yes. So. And what time did we get back? Um, uh, about midnight, <laughs> barely by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> like literally, Dr. Winston was like, wait, wait for us. <laughs> They were doing the last call. Oh, that's horrible. Like when they were like literally about like, to pull the door legit shut. Legit truth. Like <clears throat> I'm not making that up. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you made it. Yes. Did y'all fly into Meridian? That was the original plan. <laughs> that, mm -mm, which did not Jack, happen. Mm -mm, Jackson. Okay. My sweet husband came and got us. So. Okay. <laughs> Well, you're here, <laughs> I'm and I'm here. appreciative. And now I, I'm just going to tell you. In all my glory, and not bright-eyed yes, and bushy tail. I, I mercilessly <laughs> harass this woman a lot, <laughs> but she knows it is all in good fun, and she knows she's one of my favorite people in the universe. And I heard you just tell Dr. Caraway that, too. <laughs> I say it to everybody. <laughs> Sitting in the lobby. But, but it doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> I have okay. many favorites. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. you are and have been an advisor to Phi Theta Kappa yes. for a number of years now. Yes. So you know all the ins and outs. I, mostly. <laughs> they, it changes some, but yes. <laughs> no, but Phi Theta Kappa is basically an organization. How would you describe it? So Phi Theta Kappa is an honors organization mm -hmm. for two-year colleges. Um, I, I was in it. I, I, yes, he's so smart. <laughs> and so I tell um, students that it's similar to National Honor Society, um, and so that kind of gives them an idea because a lot of them were members of that in high school. Um, but it is not based on your high school grades. It is based on your college GPA, mm -hmm. um, and you have to complete 12 um, hours um, in, that can be anything, not, but except for remedial courses. Okay. Um, and once you've completed 12 hours with a 3.5 GPA or higher, um, then you're Which automatically. Is a B plus. That's about a B plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you're automatically um, invited to join. You're automatically invited to join. So we run our list typically at the beginning of the fall semesters and the spring semester. Okay. Um, and we mail letters. Um, you know, we try to make sure that we reach out to them in case any address changes or things like that. Um, it's typically $100 to join. Um, that does include your um, international dues, your regional dues, and your local dues. That also includes um, a Phi Theta Kappa stole when you graduate from here. Um, and so, um, why would someone want to join? Well, what is the what, why would I'm I want to fork over a, a hundred bucks <laughs> to join this? So okay, glad you asked. so um, wasn't planned or anything. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, so there's lots of reasons. So, first of all, um, Phi Theta Kappa offers lots of leadership opportunities. Um, on campus and in the community. Um, service is one of our hallmarks, and so um, we do lots of service um, opportunities on campus and in the community. Which many um, of my tutors are involved in, <laughs> in the Success Center. Yes, one of the they are both in leadership <laughs> positions and they go out on service stuff for her. Many, many, one of the many things he likes to harass me about, as, as we were saying, <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we do lots of community service, um, a great way, I mean, to just get involved and then also um, to build your resume. So I've never had a day that I served others and it wasn't a good day, but if no. you can build your resume in the process, it really does look good on the resume. Do yes, that? absolutely. Um, but the biggie is, is definitely the scholarship money. Yes, yep. for sure. So, um, yeah, you definitely get a return on your investment for the $100. Mm -hmm. um, and you can use financial aid, um, scholarship money if you have that right. on your account. Um, a lot of times we are able to offer assistance in some form. Um, if students don't have that, you know, um, the money, to because $100 is a lot to come up with. Yes, you know, if it you're is. not expecting that. Um, we can't do that for everyone, but we definitely try um, to do that with some foundation scholarships and things like that that we have. So when you transfer to a university, you're looking at 
um, ten to twelve thousand dollars for most of the public universities in the state um, right off the bat just for being a member and maintaining mm -hmm. a three point two five. So mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. My niece, uh, and now this has been about four years ago, but she left here and went to one of the public universities, $8,000 right off the bat right, she, that yeah. she got and because then, she was Phi Theta mm -hmm. And then lots of other competitive scholarships as well that you can apply for. So, um, yeah. The so, rate of return. Yeah. <laughs> pretty super, good. Yeah. Super, um, super awesome opportunity just for maintaining good grades, which hopefully is your goal anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So especially if you're going on and, um, you know, furthering that education you're going to want you know that to build on so um, and also I would just like to add that career and technical um, programs as well you know um, that's growing like tremendously it really is. Um, and we need those yeah. we need them to have those skill set you know to be in our workforce um, but a lot of times it, it may not be in the cards for them to get their bachelor's right there in that moment and mm -hmm. so a lot of times I get the question um, I mean, I'm looking at these wonderful broadcasting students that a lot of them will transfer on and they may not do that immediately mm -hmm. um, or nursing or there's tons of examples. Um, they may decide later to get their bachelor's. Your, your Phi Theta Kappa scholarship doesn't expire. So as long as you maintain that 3.25, you may go to the workforce and work a little bit and then decide, hey, I want to get my bachelor's. I want to further your education. And that's still sitting there waiting on you So Wonderful. at those universities. So that's just I something I really I wanted to mention. Okay. Um, nurses ask me that all the time. So a lot of them will work for a little while and then go to, say, the W or somewhere like that. And um, they still get their Phi Theta Kappa scholarship. So it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, in addition to being the Phi Theta Kappa uh, advisor, you are a math instructor here at Meridian Community I College. I am. I am. <laughs> and, and, you know, we've talked about this before, but why do so many young people seem to have an aversion <laughs> to math? As soon as, you, you know, they, they can do something, but as soon as you say algebra mm -hmm. or calculus yeah. or trig, it's like, oh, no, I can't do that. It's like they won't even think about it. Yeah. Why well, do you think I that think is? it's like, I think it's a, like a lot of things. So, um, you know, we like to avoid our weaknesses. And so if math is, is a weakness, and I, I'm not sure why it tends to be a weakness. I think there's a lot of reasons why it tends to be a weakness. Um, I, I think that maybe it's, um, there's not as much emphasis on it sometimes. Um, you know, and a lot of times if even like if teachers struggle with it, like say in elementary, that's not their strong suit, you know what I mean? Then, right. You know, then they may not spend as much time and things like that. And I've literally great... had teachers that would say, well, I don't speak math. Yeah. And that bothers, <laughs> that just bothers me. It really bothers yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, it's a very so. important skill for sure. And so, um, but anyway, so yeah, the, definitely important, logical, problem solving skills, you know, but I think a lot of it is just, it's a weakness and we avoid it. So, yeah. Okay, and we need to change that. Yes, <laughs> yes, because you have to work on your weaknesses no matter what they are. So um, we only want to do the things that we shine at. Exactly. And so English is not my not my fave, <laughs> um, but definitely have to use that and have. But you can. But you can write a good essay. The, you can write a good paragraph. Yeah, I probably can, can write better now than I could when I was a college student from my experience. Yeah. So I mean, you got to you got to work at it. So. Well, uh, I'm, I'm getting the call that we're our segment's over. So uh, I just want to thank you for being here, even though you had a late night. Yes, <laughs> that sounds like I was. It was not that eventful. <laughs> I but mean, I, it was, but not in like a woo. I appreciate kind of you being here <laughs> yes. very much. And thank of you. course, I will continue to harass you, but that's just part of the dynamic. Yes. But thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. We'll be right back. Not essential. Never let anyone tell you that again. Never doubt your abilities to make a difference. How do I know this about you? Because I'm a teacher. I am the one who will push you harder and farther than you could have ever imagined teach you things that you never thought possible. And if you will give me 100%, then I will stand shoulder to shoulder with you, and together we will change your future. MCC, find your wings. And we are here and we have two students from the uh, Precision Machining uh, Program here at Meridian Community College. How y'all doing? Doing good, how are you? Oh, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Now you are Elon, Elon, Elon Presley, Presley. Yes, and Michael Bishop. Yes, okay. Sir. How long have you been in the program? Um, I am a sophomore. Okay. So, That's, so your second year. Yes, sir. I'm oh. on my last semester. Okay. And I'm a freshman. This is my second semester. Okay. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm okay. enjoying it so far. Um, 
being the new guy, you know. Uh, I don't know. Do you get it, all the tough jobs? Not really. <laughs> um, he does give you a little responsibility of responsibility you have to take initiative on, and that's what I'm enjoying about the program so far. Okay. Well, now, what exactly do you do in this program? What kind of things are you learning? Um, the first thing you learn is um, how to operate manual mills and lathes. Uh, okay. okay. Pretend like I have no idea what that is. <laughs> right. a, uh, a milling machine is um, you would put like a piece of square stock or in a vise, tighten mm -hmm. it down, and then you have a cutter that comes down from the top, and you can mill flats, angles, pockets, that kind of thing. Okay. On the, on the other side, on the lathe, uh, you would use, most of the time, round stock in a big chuck with jaws. And it clamps down and mm -hmm. it spins, and as the part rotates, the cutter comes in and takes a cut. But it cuts the entire stock at the same time all the way around. And what would these be used for? Lathes would be used for like uh, shafts, um, you could do hubs, that that kind of thing, mills. Pretty, pretty important pieces of equipment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, much anything pretty necessary. You need, anything you need can be made between the two, pretty much. Okay. Now, this is a two-year program, right? And what drew you to this program? What made you decide to go into this? Um, well, when I went back to school, or when I got the opportunity to go back to school. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, I looked at different trades and I had a friend of mine that was actually in the program in his first year, uh, going on second year. And um, I, he just he told me, come down, you just have to see for yourself what we do, come down and talk to Brian. So I did. And It's Brian Warren, who's the instructor and he runs the program, right? Yes. And after, after 10 minutes in there of seeing how things run and seeing metal be cut, I did, didn't want to do anything else. Do you still feel that way on your last semester in the program? Do you still feel like that you've ch you've made the right choice, you made the right choice, this is it, this is what you want? I do, Good. 100%. Good. And what drew you to the program? So I've been at MCC four years now. We want um, your money. <laughs> that's right, that's right, and they're getting all of it. <laughs> uh, but I started in the CAD program, which is, you know, on, everything's on a computer. You're yes. behind a desk eight yes. hours a day. I currently work a job that I'm doing that. Okay. Um, Did you completed that program? I completed okay. that program. I have not had my associates. So, Mr. Brown, isn't it? Yeah, Stuart Brown? Mr. Okay. Brown. Um, that's a great program. Yes. I loved it, but I knew that being behind a desk every day, all day, was not going to be for me. Okay. Um, so I was. I talked to Mr. Brown, and he pointed me to Brian. So okay. I, I actually got to tour the classroom, talked to Brian, and he showed me what it was about. And I was like, okay, this, you know, it's a, a what do you call it? A, Air conditioned environment, mm -hmm. you know. Climate control. Yes, <laughs> Climate yes. Control. important. Yes, air conditioned environment, and you know you're working with your hands. You have to use your brain, but mm -hmm. it's not too much physical work that it's like, man, I don't want to wake up this morning because I'm tired. You right, know? right. And you're still getting good money, so it was like this is everything that I need to give me that physical aspect that I'm missing that the CAD doesn't offer and they also go hand in hand. CAD mm -hmm. and CAM go hand in hand. So this will probably open up more doors for you as soon as you finish yeah. this program. Yeah. Okay. Has anything surprised you about the program? Did anything, you know, when you first, before you knew anything about it and then suddenly you get in there and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. It anything surprised you? It gave me a better perspective on how manufacturing works. Um, Watching, watching the How It's Made shows on TV versus being in person and watching those machines work and cut, um, it, it's, it's been a different experience. Um, Did, well, with it, with it, the, it, the manuals, um, seeing how slow they cut versus what a CNC machine does, all that automation and how fast it gets it done. Mm -hmm. It amazes me how far machining has come in 50, 60 years, and it continues to grow and evolve every day. When you decided to, to go into the program, are there any prerequisites? Are there any classes you have to take uh, uh, before you can get into the precision machining program? 
If you are pursuing the degree, okay, I believe you have to have the the basics. Okay, uh, like uh, comp one, college, college algebra, algebra, stuff like that. Okay, yeah, but um, there's also a certificate, a two year, one year or two year certificate option, okay. and I don't believe any basics are required for that. Okay, can you continue? Uh, your education beyond the two years. I know not here, but maybe somewhere else if you want to. You could pursue like a mechanical engineering degree, mm -hmm. um, and that that can help you move into some programmer positions or even engineering positions for the companies later on. Do you see yourself pursuing? Because you're you're this your last semester. Are you very eager to May to get to May six? <laughs> <laughs> the last, uh, our last final. The I'm last. a first year and I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a little bittersweet for sure. me because uh, that this is what I've I've known for the past two years, sure. and it it is a wonderful shop, and I. It is a very great. I went to the grand opening, and it is amazing in there. The things, and he was showing us. It is absolutely amazing. But do you see yourself pursuing and going further in it? I would like to eventually obtain my mechanical engineering degree okay. and um, move even further up in a company of my choosing. Try to climb to the top. Well, good, good. Uh, now, do you, uh, um, with the preci precision machining, um, what kind of job opportunities are there out there for you? There are. <laughs> I mean, are there jobs of... available? He knows more oh. about it than I do <laughs> right <laughs> now. Um, I'm not sure if you heard about the uh, the post that went viral on LinkedIn. I did. Um, and that and was, would you explain a little bit about that? What it, what what happened with that? I was uh, I was inside cleaning a machine, uh, like we do at the end of every week. We make sure we get them good and cleaned mm -hmm. up, and the tables oiled down. And uh, I just got in there and started doing it. Um, I I don't like to be, I don't have to be told to do things. Sure. You should just. And that's part of your job. You just get it I agree. It. I agree. And Brian saw it and he said, oh, well, all right. And snapped a picture and put it on LinkedIn with, with the post about um, how some young people don't want to work and there are some that do. And uh, the, the, the uh, work, workmanship and craftsmanship is still alive. It's not dead. Good. Um, and we did not expect what happened. Um, my phone and his phone exploded Good. over the next two weeks, and it was one right after the other. It was company after company. I believe we from Canada, from all over. I, we yeah, had responses I had, from that. I had one try. We well, did have one trying to get me to come to Canada. Um, mm -hmm. Are you going to go? A little too cold. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I like I like the warmer climate. But the but the jobs are there. When you finish this program, the jobs are there. Yeah, even based off of that post, I was getting people contacting me. Hey, when do you graduate? And you're just yeah. the second. You've got I, a whole other year. I'm to in go. my second semester. Like Excellent. I have a whole year, and they were like, "Come on, we want you now." And I'm Excellent. like, yeah, "I need to finish the program first. I can confidently say that there is 100% job placement. Excellent, yes. excellent. Listen, I want to thank both of you for, for being here today and for talking about this. And uh, maybe I can get you back after you've been out there and, and you're earning millions of dollars and we can talk about <laughs> <laughs> how it has changed, okay? All right. Thank good. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back. Since 1996, the MCC Foundation Tuition Guarantee Program has provided students an opportunity to find their potential. Thousands of students have benefited from the program. Over $6 million have been invested in the students who learn and live right here in our community. This program is funded by individuals and businesses who believe in our students, our families, and the economic impact of an education at Meridian Community College. Now is your chance to offer support. Give today at meridiancc.edu slash give. On behalf of executive producer Matt Milner, media specialist Josh Taylor, and student producer Minda Finch, thank you for watching. Hope you learned a little bit, and we'll see you next week.